Well, hello everyone.、Uh, my name is Vitaly, and I'm Nardain. And we want to welcome you to the Married Ministry of the Great Harbor Church of Christ, known as the Heart. And、uh, today we're going to talk today about an interesting concept uh, that uh, maybe some of you have experienced、uh, as being、uh, part of this lockdown.、Uh, mm-hmm. For us, it's been probably about seven, seven weeks, seven、yeah. weeks at least for our、yeah. family, since we've been in this situation.、Uh, just pretty much. Uh, the only people been able to touch are our、uh, kids and、uh, each other. So,、uh, but、um, so we want to talk today about、uh, this concept that I'm gonna let Nardine introduce a little bit here. So,、um, so one of the things that we've been talking about、um, is the fact that being together for seven weeks, I think, can.、Um, Be a whole lot for a lot of us. This is probably the most time we've ever spent with each other as couples. I mean, we'd go on vacation, but not.、Um, we've never spent that much time consecutively、um, in any period of time. I I know for us at least since we've been married, and so with that, I think that for some it's it's exciting, it's encouraging to get to spend time with each other as couples. Um, at the same time, we can feel a little bit stuck because it, it is it is healthy to be able to do things outside of the relationship as well. So, not being able to do those things、um, can certainly create certain dynamics that not that may not necessarily be healthy. And one of those dynamics that we wanted to discuss tonight is called a sin pact. So. Basically, what that is is it's some sort of a toxic dynamic that couples can、um, engage in, and what it does is where both partners may engage in an unhealthy pattern, and neither one of them are willing to call each other out on it because they might be in a place where they're feeling comfortable. It's like, oh, you know, if I call him out on it, he's gonna call me out. So let's agree. To not say anything, and you know, some some of that is not necessarily intentional, where you're consciously saying that, but it's something that happens subconsciously because you're not you might just be in a place where you just really、um, comfortable, and、um, those things may、um, be happening、um, mm-hmm. in certain dynamics. So, so I'm as I'm thinking about this impact, right? You're kind of introducing the idea of it,、mm-hmm. and.、Um, So I guess what I'm hearing is, so for example, if I eat Twinkies all day long, okay, I hate Twinkies. But let's say if I eat Twinkies all day long and、uh, you not say anything, but you eating ice cream and you saying not saying anything to me about this, or I'm not saying anything to you.、Mm-hmm. Um, so is that kind of the idea of the、uh, sin pact, where we're not sort of like telling each other about things that we shouldn't be doing, maybe for too much, for too long. And、mm-hmm. is that what are you talking about? Yeah, I think essentially that's what it is. Where you know,、um, it, we kind of know that okay, this is not probably the best thing for you, but I know that well. Later on, if I'm watching something, if I'm binge watching something, I,、mm-hmm. I know I want to have my ice cream or、um, and overindulge in whatever it is that I want to do, and so I'm not gonna say anything to you so that. I can keep doing what I want to do,、um, so I think essentially that's what、mm-hmm. that would look like. So you know, as I'm thinking about this more,、uh, kind of more on a deeper level,、uh, besides you know taking all the jokes aside and、mm-hmm. Twinkies and ice cream, I think it's something、uh, can be a lot more deeper in the sense、mm-hmm. of you know, for example, spouse might be drinking、uh, too much、mm-hmm. at this time,、um, maybe shopping online during this lockdown because we all. Kind of long for connection,、mm-hmm. and、um, you know we we have needs,、um, and、uh, so it's kind of hard to be able not, not to be able to connect with people. Therefore,、mm-hmm. we're looking for this sort of like a to fill ourselves with something else.、Mm-hmm. You know, we're spending maybe endless hours on social media, or maybe playing video games. Husband might be playing video games to a point where you know wife just kind of、um, she becomes blind to that for a moment,、mm-hmm. and she. Um, does everything herself. She takes care of the kids and doing distance learning, and she's taking care of the lunches. 
and dinners, knowing that at night time, when everybody goes to bed, she will have her four sweet hours <laughs> of wine by herself and watching some Netflix or maybe Bachelorette and just really trying to fill her romantic cup with some kind of, um, you know, uh, sort of those things to be able to make her feel, feel better. Um, you know, even though couples might be addressing those things, you know, one of the, you know, why I love the Bible is that mm -hmm. because one of the scriptures that really uh, heavily addresses it is uh, from James 4.1, mm -hmm. that it talks about, you know, what causes fights and quarrels among you? Don't they come from your desires that battle within you? Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of those desires. Yeah. Um, they both feel disconnected. Um, both are aware of each other's sin but they don't really say much about it. You know, indulgence is kind of accepted during this time. And, you know, why expose and mention mm -hmm. of each other's sin when we're already sort of going through hard times mm. at this time? Yeah. Um, and both start sliding into this, um, you know, virus created hole in the moment. Mm -hmm. um, and they start feeling uh, completely disconnected, fighting about mm -hmm. smallest things, yelling at the kids, uh, criticizing each other, criticizing other people, um, they're full of bitterness and resentment and the need of, at the end, of serious counseling and uh, um, intervention. So, I mean, this is kind of mm -hmm. what I'm understanding, how right. I'm understanding this impact, right. what right. it causes basically as a result of that. Right. And, you know, I think that for some, um, you, this may not apply, you know, that you may not find yourself mm. in a space where you are um, engaging in that type of dynamic. Um, but the other thing that I, I know for us at least, we've noticed is that, you know, spending a lot of time together, what it can also bring out is it can highlight growth areas, areas that may come up, That's may true. have come up prior to where we're at right now. You would see once in a while, like for example, like I know for us um, in the area of parenting, like once mm -hmm. in a while we'll like disagree on how to address the kids or certain things about parenting. But one of the things that we recognize um, during this time of spending so much time with each other and the kids is that it's coming up more and more yeah. for us. So um, what it did is that it's, it highlighted that for us. Okay, this is really a growth area that we need to focus on and work on um, to be uh, to strengthen in our relationship. It wasn't just something that was happening once in a while, I think, because we're busy, mm -hmm. and so it didn't seem like it was a big deal. But spending time together has helped us to see, well, yeah, this is truly an area that we need to truly focus on. And for others, you may be doing really well as couples, and this, mm -hmm. is, this time has really brought you closer, and that's awesome and amazing. One thing I would say is that if you are in that place you know, reach out to someone else, you know, encourage others that may not be in that place um, right now. They might be struggling or they just might be in need of encouragement. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's it's a great opportunity to give in that way um, to be able to encourage others. If you find yourself in a place where you are flourishing, where you are growing as a couple. So getting back to this impact idea. So um, if you're experiencing something like that, how do you deal with this? How do you address this impact? Well, first of all, I think that, you know, being open and honest is so important. Um, and obviously when we're comfortable, mm -hmm. we, we don't want to sort of like, you know, rock the boat like we talked about. We want to stay in our comfort zone and get our, um, fill, fill up that need, that void that, um, that we're trying to get from whatever it is that we're engaging in. But I think one of the things that I think we talked about is, um, just the idea of remembering that we are um, we are disciples first. We are brothers and sisters first, mm -hmm. right? And the scripture that I think about is um, um, Ephesians um, um, four fifteen, and says, you know, um, instead speaking the truth in love. You know, we need to be able to speak the truth in love to each other. As we um, find find certain things that are going on in our relationship, and the other one is Ephesians five. It says, "Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ." And I think that when we are um, 
able to be open and honest with each other, remembering that we have to submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. And I think that's that brother and you know sister relationship mm-hmm. that comes before the marriage relationship. And I think sometimes we can forget that you know we're supposed mm-hmm. to present each other, um, you know, um, free from you know wrinkles. I think so. It, it says before Christ um, and. I think if we remember that, it can push us, push us out of our comfort zone, remembering that mm-hmm. that's our role with each other, first and foremost, to not get into that comfort place and, and, and think about just the couple relationship. And the other one is um, uh, be able to take a hold mm-hmm. of this concept of this idea of accountability. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's very easy, it's very comfortable just to be in our own homes right now. And, uh, you know, not feeling a need to really go out, uh, reach out to other people mm-hmm. and sort of um, open up about your struggles, uh, what you've been going through. Uh, really uh, confess your sins to one another. You know that uh, James 5.16 is uh, talking about, therefore confess your sins to each other and pray with each other so that you may be healed. Mm. The, prayer of a power, uh, the prayer of a righteous man is powerful mm. and effective. And, you know, not forgetting the need to be able to, you know, call your discipling partner yeah. and uh, just, you know, reach out to somebody and say, man, this has been really tough. I've been, you know, watching this too much or going mm-hmm. to maybe inappropriate sites that I know it's just kind of eating me inside and uh, really um, under, undermining my marriage in some ways. Mm-hmm. And so um, the last one is praying together. This this is probably the most um, consistent time we'll probably ever have with mm. each other and remembering to um, pray, you know, when those things come up and just um, really connect with each other on a spiritual level and take the time to pray with one another and encourage each other in those ways. So something what we're going to do right now, guys, as we're going to be finishing this up and many of you will be getting on uh, uh, sort of a conference calls with your family groups, um, we're going to ask you two questions that we would like for you to talk about it openly in your groups. And um, the first one is, um, have, you ex- have you engaged in a, this kind of toxic dynamic of creating uh, this impact in your relationship during this time specifically? Mm-hmm. And the second question is, are you maintaining your discipling times and or seeking help when issues come up in your relationship? So what we're going to do now is we're going to display those questions on the screen for about 30 seconds or so. Mm -hmm. So you can take a a screenshot, maybe with your phone. And uh, once we um, uh, finish with this uh, short message, um, you guys can go ahead and Mm -hmm. start discussing with, with your group. We hope it's been helpful. Uh, We certainly miss you a lot. Uh, We have been uh, calling with one another, with many of you, and um, we hope that this message uh, was helpful uh, to you this morning, this afternoon, this (laughs) evening, Um, whatever the uh, day of the hour right now is. Okay, great. So um, break up into your groups, and we hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye. Bye.